Hey guys, we all made it through another week. Hopefully you're uh, going to hang out and do some fun stuff for the weekend. I know I'm going to be doing uh, some more work on the house. I actually just got done doing a little project in the in the house a minute ago. And um, I was messing around this morning as I was heading out to the door. And I noticed that, um, I don't know if it was subconsciously done or whatever like that. But basically, uh, three of my Seiko divers, they're all like Pepsi dialed one. Or, you know, with the bezels and everything. So you have the Snee 499. And I know this is probably not going to be the most popular one because that black one is more of a, um, you know, a uh, heritage model of the original. Um, but I do want to get the be or the shroud for this guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna order that, and I, I have this on the uh, Super Jubilee. And then of course I have the 009 SKX. Um, I think definitely a 009 or a 007 would be something that uh, can easily be added to any collection um, whether you're just starting out or whether you're deeper into the hobby or whatever like that these are definitely um, pretty cool watches to just have one on hand at, you know just over the $200 range which actually as soon as I get then I'll show you guys that the one of the mods I'm going to be doing for um, my old neighbor Frank uh, I ordered his 007 from Mark at Long Island um, so that will be um, probably next week. I'm going to try to hook up with him because I think once we get the watch, we pretty much have all the parts. So that'll be a pretty cool uh, 007. No, I ordered the 009. That's right. Mark was out of stock on the 007. So I ordered a 009, the, just like this one. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we're going to change all the, the parts that uh, make it basically a, a 009 because we're going to do the Coke bezel and... I'm going to put a 171 dial, and he's got a different handset for it. So that'll be pretty cool. Plus, I have uh, Terry's um, Turtle SKX here. This used to be a patty, and, and she uh, harvested the dial out of it and put it in the SKX, which uh, she still wears. That's a really good-looking watch. And uh, ended up putting the 009 blue, dark blue dial into the patty Turtle. So, um, and oddly enough, I kind of dig it. I kind of like it because I've had other dials come through and maybe I'll change it out eventually. I might make this a turtle mod or something, but I kind of dig the way it looks. Uh, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea because it seems like kind of a backwards mod, but you know, because it's uh, essentially the same thing as this guy, but larger. So I don't know, pretty cool. I might uh, play around with the turtle a little bit, but um, so here's the turtle next to the uh, Patty Solar Tuna. I gotta tell you guys, um, you know, I did the the video on this guy already, but I've been wearing this like every day. It's probably all grimed up and everything, um, and I it's actually been getting banged around a little bit. I don't know if there's any marks on it yet, but um, I've noticed a couple hits on it even. So and it's holding up really good. I'm super happy with this one. If you guys have always wondered what it's like to have the Seiko Tuna. This one or the 498, buy one of them. I'm telling you, like, get the really good deal from Mimo or wherever you can find, uh, you know, a good deal on one and uh, try it out because they are they are really nice. Um, I personally like things on bracelets or the, you know, the watches on bracelets. So, um, you know, that's another reason why I chose this because it has the stainless case. Um, and, of course, if you change out this, I mean, it's basically like a full-grown tuna but just a touch thinner a touch smaller and everything like that so really cool um, anyway I just wanted to touch base with you guys and uh, let you know that um, it's Friday we got the weekend coming and uh, I have some other watches I will be talking about soon um, that I have on hand right now I have a, a couple more really cool ones coming in um, I've been talking to Bruce a little bit more hopefully we'll uh, we'll do some sort of um, you know watch swapping again soon uh, depending on what he's buying and what I'm buying and then uh, we'll go from there so there's a lot of cool stuff happening in the watch world um, there's a lot of cool models out right now um, I'm gonna try to figure out a couple other topic videos that I want to do so hopefully I'll get those going maybe next week so anyway have a great weekend, guys. I'll try to check in tomorrow, but I'm going to be hanging the upper cabinets in the kitchen, so I'm not sure how long that's going to take. So, 
See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.